officiate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Going to give this time to the tailback. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And all the way down to the five. And finally, they get him to the ground, but it's all the way down at the Niners' five. So you got the lead here in the second half. Obviously, you love big runs like that at any time. Here, you really like them. And how about the confidence that's being exhibited by that offense now? They don't care what you're lining up doing on the defensive side. They want the big fella to carry the football and carry it off. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. They go again with Scott. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Boston Scott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. And they will not get 